Hey, I'm Jeff Tidwell, and this is actor Jussie Smollett from the show Empire, and he's on Good Morning America speaking about his alleged attack, and I figured this would be a good opportunity for you to see some uh, real-world examples of acting technique and the acting skill set being used. As a fellow SAG member, I do appreciate um, good form, and, well, you can be the judge for yourself. Enjoy. The order during that time, I texted my manager thinking that he was still in Australia because he was on an Australian tour with one of his other clients. Mm -hmm. and I said, yo, call me when you can. He called me immediately. And while he was on the phone, I uh, heard, as I was crossing the intersection, I heard Empire. And I don't answer to Empire. <laughs> my name ain't Empire. Uh, and I didn't answer. I kept walking and then I heard Empire. So I turned around and I said, the did you just say to me? And I see the uh, attacker uh, masked. And he said, this MAGA country punches me right in the face. So I punched his ass back. And then um, we started tussling. You know, it was very icy. And we ended up tussling by the stairs. Uh, fighting, fighting, fighting. There was a second person involved who was kicking me in my back. And uh, then it just stopped. And they ran off. And I saw where they ran. And the phone was in my pocket, but it had fallen out. And it was sitting there. And my manager was still on the phone. So I picked up the phone and I said, Brandon. And he's like, what's going on? And I said, I was just jumped. And I, then I looked down and I see that there's a rope around my neck which I hadn't You hadn't noticed that, it before? No, you didn't because see? it was so fast. You know what I'm saying? It was so fast. How long did this all It felt take like minutes, but it probably was like 30 seconds, honestly. I can't tell you, honestly. Um, I noticed the rope around my neck, and I started screaming. And I said, there's a rope around my neck. Did you get any kind of description of the attacker? I gave a body description, and I, you know, because I saw this, but and you know, right here or whatever, but I didn't see, I can't tell you what color their eyes were. I can't tell you. And I did not see anything except the second person I saw running away. And the first person, yeah, I saw, saw his stature. I gave the description as best as I could. You have to understand also that it's Chicago in winter. People can wear ski masks and nobody's gonna question that. The police have gone through a lot of video and they were able to capture an image of two people of interest. Have you seen that image mm -hmm. and do you believe that they could possibly be the attackers? I do. What is it about their their size or what? why do you feel that they could possibly be? Because I was there. For me, when that was released, I was like, okay, we're getting somewhere. I don't have any doubt in my mind that that's them. Never did. Why did you hesitate to want to call the police? You know, there's a level of pride there. We live in a society where, as a gay man, you are considered somehow to be weak. And I'm not weak. I am not weak. And we, are, as a people, are not weak. So I, mean, I can accept that there was pride there. There's also privacy. You know, at the end of the day, look what has happened. You know, look what has happened. So I don't, I'm glad that Frank called the police. I'm glad that we reported it. Um, during that time before they came, it took them about maybe half hour to come. And during that time, I was looking at myself, just like checking myself out. I saw the bruise on my neck, you know, like the little, um, the rope burn around my neck. And then I, but I smelled bleach. I know the smell of bleach. And I saw on my sweatshirt, it had marks on it, like spots on it, when you have a bad bleach job. So then I was like, there's bleach on me too. So when the police came, um, I kept the clothes on. I kept 
the rope. So you had the rope on the entire time? I mean, it wasn't like wrapped around, but yeah, it was around because I wanted them to see. I wanted them to see what this was. I told them what happened, everything. I also asked them to turn their body cams off because they were trying to stay in the hallway. And I was like, please just come in. Like, I don't want a big scene with my neighbors and with like the second round of police officers. Um, 